So when Marlon asked about why, over the last couple of years in the Diocese of Olympia, I put this group together called Outside Church Walls. It's a, it's a wide uh, range of people, but mostly young people, and a lot of them really new to the church. And I asked them to really try to figure out the gap between the people that don't do church. I don't like unchurched. I don't like that name. Nobody wants to be un-anything, I think. We say pre-churched or, uh, you know, some other word, but people that don't do church and those of us that are in it and try to teach us about that gap. And after two years of work, really what they came back to was that we don't know our why. That's what they came back to after two years of work. And I'll tell you the day it really dawned on us. We invited an atheist to come and talk to us and to reflect back to us what he saw in the Christian world. And he was a very brave man to come and sit with us. And after it was all over, I said, you know, you've been very gracious and you've been courageous to come here, but I think you're holding back. So I'm going to ask you, come up with like a bumper sticker for what you would tell us. And he thought about it a minute and he said, okay, your elevator speech sucks. <laughs> your elevator speech sucks. And then we had a great conversation. And when he left, those of us at the table tried to come up with our elevator speech. The why. And it wasn't easy to do. And that's what we did at our convention. We came up with elevator speeches. And our youth, they really loved this. They got on it, so they rode the elevator. So at convention, you would get on, and our youth person would be there, and they'd give you their elevator speech and ask you for yours. Your elevator speech sucks. We've got to have a better one than that. 